Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Just wanted to squeeze one in, just a quick one, due to the uh, sell-off that occurred after my last video. So eventually this is what we want to see, um, a sell-off down to make finally one more low. Um, and I wanted to highlight to you again the two possible scenarios now. Well, the triangle count, yeah, the triangle count, um, unless we had a very short E-wave, but the triangle probably didn't play out. Um, quick reminder what the triangle was. The triangle suggested A, B, C, D, and then one more high, but a lower high, um, and then to come down. Now, Bitcoin had different plans. Bitcoin came down straight away. Okay, so that unfortunately still does not rule out a higher way forward, and we're going to talk about that now. Now, saying that... Um, saying that saying that you need to know that a triangle doesn't really have a strong rule about how long the e-wave needs to be so a b c d e is technically possible and we had a very very short e-wave but it's not really likely yeah it would be more of a forced one to say all right the triangle did work out blah blah but the triangle certainly didn't but the overall forecast was still for another low. Now, Bitcoin hasn't broken the 25,800 level. That's the wave three low. And that is really the level that needs to be taken out. Because if it doesn't, it still leaves a high likelihood on the table for this blue wave count. That is nothing new that we talked about in previous videos. So it just um, gives us a bit clarity in terms of, okay, didn't didn't go, you know, the triangle didn't work out or wasn't finalized, but that doesn't really make a difference because the forecast of the triangle would anyway have been a breakdown, yeah? But the thing is, had we completed the triangle nicely, I would be more confident in saying, okay, we had a nice triangle complete, this is probably the wave five and it could be yeah and i think we can sort of assume it we just need to be ready for a whipsaw here because what could happen is that this was indeed the a wave this here is now the blue b wave and we come down afterwards no we come up afterwards in a c wave honestly just be ready for that bitcoin has the potential to surprise and to catch people out especially in a corrective structure and if we recognize that we are still in a corrective wave structure i mean which we are because the idea is we are in a wave two correction to the downside then you just need to be ready for this stuff and um, it's sort of quite a lot today so i'm just thinking you know when the fomc meeting minutes are going to be released that could lead to a bit of a turnaround temporarily maybe and then come down later yeah um so that the wave four wasn't finished yet, but instead we get a bit of a delay of the wave four completion. So these are two possibilities. And even here with this blue wave four alternative, that actually works out quite nicely in terms of the wave count, because it can say, okay, A wave in three waves. And I'll change the color in a minute. B wave and C wave, obviously. Um, but within the B wave, this was an A wave again in three waves. Then here a B wave and now a C wave to the downside. That adds up quite well and this is quite impulsive. So it could just be a C wave. Yeah, just be ready for that. And then what you need to know, a B wave can even overshoot to the downside. But the point is if we break below the um, third wave low, I think we can assume with even more confidence that we already are in the fifth wave. So yeah, Looking looking at that volatility, downside pressure, all looking good, I'm just saying to you, be ready for a potential turnaround because this is still a likely option, which will decrease in probability as soon as the break below the third wave low occurs, and that is at 25,800. I did share with you before that my sort of target for this fifth wave down is between 24.5 and 25.5k, and we've got one key level here at 25,300 to watch out for. And then we just need to take it from there. Doesn't mean the next low is the last one, but it has the potential to be the last one. So let's see how this all develops. Um, quick final look at the daily RSI. I would really like to see this eventually at 30. 
but is holding quite well actually. It's, it's still at around 38. Um, getting closer to the 30 level increases the probabilities of a lasting low in place, but at the moment we are not there yet. Okay, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.